As we continue to keep up on the flood aftermath in the Hill Country, today we met with a team at the University of Texas at Arlington, and they're using data and science to explain what went wrong that fateful July 4th morning. Marissa Armas picks it up from here, and it's a story all new for you at 5. These buildings, camp buildings, mm -hmm. are underwater, yeah. and this was 45 feet. The day after the catastrophic floods hit the Hill Country, the H2I lab at the University of Texas at Arlington got to work. The team of civil engineers specializes on water and data. Actually didn't have a lot of idea how devastating the situation was. Uh, when we overlaid on Google Earth with all these buildings and stuff, then we realized that this is going to be uh, much more significant than we, what we knew on that particular time. In less than an hour, the team recreated a flood map of the Hill Country using data from the U.S. Geological Survey and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The maps show how high water levels got during certain times during the morning of July 4th. It was a tsunami. And also shows the amount of structures that were inside the FEMA 100-year flood zone. In our estimate, we found at least 1,800 building footprints within Hill Country's flood-affected areas. That's a lot. The team believes their findings can also help recovery crews locate people's remains by targeting hot spots in the area. Imagine you are a first responder. This is a, this is a warning that our model generated. Where do you go? You know that this is the pocket, this is the hot spot. Yeah. So you'll go there first. Based on past flooding events in the Hill Country, the team says they're not surprised by what happened on July 4th, but say it's important to pay attention to the data and learn from the past. Let's not lose our hopes. Uh, let's rise again and see what we can do with all the smart technologies we have. And the team here at UT Arlington says we need to not only focus on emergency alerts, but also a flood warning system that gives people real time information about risk in a specific area. They do hope to share this information with officials in Kirk County. In Arlington, Marissa Armas, CBS News, Texas.